Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Liam Keen Lian. I didn't quite think I would be saying this at full time, especially when it was 2 0 down, but Chelsea 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2. They have stopped the rot in style. What? The last 20 minutes in that game. They were absolutely magnificent. And look, it's not three points, but goodness me, it just feels good, doesn't it? It feels good to come here, to go down, to show the character after the week they've had, after the month they've had, and to show a bit of fight, a bit of character, a bit of quality. And really, they probably could have won that game. A bit more like it, isn't it? Yeah! They've shown some cojones. Cojones, they baby! They've come out and they have fought back at the, the home of a world-class team and the European champions, yep. and they've come here and got an unlikely point. Mm. If you take away the 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes when the two Chelsea goals go in yep. and Wolves, to be honest, could have conceded a couple more, if you take that spell of the game out, yeah. Wolves probably had the better chances and they played yeah. very well. And Definitely it actually, and it actually, Yeah, and it actually was a far better performance mm. than against Brighton. I mean, it's difficult to get worse, to be honest, but it was far, far better. And they deserved something on the balance of the game. But yeah, after those 15, 20 minutes yeah. in that second half, it looks like... Well, now no it's a madness, wasn't it? You it, know. Was, it was awful. And, yeah. it, and it looked like there was no opportunity they were going to get back into it because... They, well, they can see the penalty, which I thought was harsh. I thought it was harsh. I can, I can understand, but I thought it was harsh. Gives a, Connor, give a decision to make, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Connor and uh, Connor Cody and, and Jan Rettini then have a bit of a mix up, and it was a massive error, to be honest. And uh, and they can see that that second goal so quickly, and as yeah. well, and that's what made it feel like a collapse because it was such a, a quick, as I say, 10, 15 minutes, yeah. and then it all opened up from there. Mm. Yeah, look, I mean, they made changes today, didn't they? Yeah. Of course. Um, look, it was. Raul and Pedro Neto coming on up front and, and, and I thought they actually did okay. I thought Raul, even though he didn't score, they had a great chance, didn't he? I actually thought that it looked a lot better today. It looked a little bit more cohesive. They were back to, I guess, I'm not going to say basics, but that counter-attacking style has obviously done them so well in previous seasons. And they were creating chances, but you just you needed them to score. And I think when, when, when Juan misses that chance yeah. as well and you think, oh, it's, it's game over. It's disappointing to go down 2-0, but like I say, the character they've shown, and, and really, the substitutions made a massive difference. Now, Bruno was, was back at Compton Park as well. He was the one calling the shots today. So fair play to come on and to bring Chiquinho on. By the way, Chiquinho, <laughs> Chiquinho. What a bloke. What a guy, what a guy. And look, he's had his detractors this season. It looks like Wolves probably won't be taking up the option, but Francisco Trincao, credit to him as well, scored a beautiful goal. Yeah. Could have scored a second himself as well if it wasn't for a, a fantastic block by Silva. Yeah. And uh, and then, like I say, a, a delicious cross. I mean, I wasn't even in, I'd left. I was going to interview the fans. I hear this craziness. Seen it since then. I haven't seen the goal oh, yet. Mate, a, I've, I've, I've heard it's a delicious gorgeous. cross. And then Connor Cody, absolutely job done. Um, that's a bit of redemption, I guess, after, after yeah. maybe making a mistake after the second goal and uh, pandemonium. And you've seen the scenes. You've seen the pictures with them in the crowd. These are the days why you do an away day because this resonates with you. And they needed this. The Wolves needed this, Bruno needed this, the players needed this, the fans needed this. It's great, and nothing more than they deserve. 100%. And you look at the, as you said, the substitutions, I think they were they were key. Step forward, Francisco Trincao, a player who has really flattered the seat for probably 95%. That might, that might even be kind to him of the season, to be honest. You know, the Leeds game we mentioned, he, he, you know, he was brilliant. He comes on. Struck it beautifully. Scores an oh. goal. Oh. I say should have scored, well, could have scored rather that, that second one if it was yeah. silver. Um, and then, yeah, Chiquinho. He's raw, he's young, he's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he's your type, man. Damn, like, damn right he is. Yeah, he, uh, but he's exciting, and there's something really um, just energetic about him. Yeah, and he, he breathes life into the team. Yeah, but not not just today, but when he's come on yeah. into a game, and you know when he's he, he he brings that energy yeah. that you think something's going to happen. A bit like you know like Traore, but yeah. people all say, well, the end product because you know he's had two assists today. And uh, look, just integral, and that's just going to do him the world of good yeah. as well going forward. Yeah, I'm not massively convinced. You know, there'll be a lot of people saying now that oh, Chiquinho's got to start the end. Of the I'm not massively convinced mm. that's the answer because, yes, a lot of the four players haven't been doing it. I agree with you. I thought Neto is probably the best player today up until the substitution. Yeah. Brown did okay. Um, Huang, to be honest, actually thought did all right when he came on as well. Yeah. Um, Chiquinho's impact, that's the word, impact. Yeah, the huge impact. And you've got to remember, he's 22. Look, he's not a baby, but he's not an experienced professional yet either. He needs to play football. 
ball. Yeah. But he needs to probably play at the right times. So and it felt like today was the right time. Of course. And there'll be moments coming forward at the right time. Mm. Whether that's a start or not, I don't know. But the impact he made was excellent. And he's, he's added, it, he's a different player to Troy Roy, but he's added a bit of that same flavour. Yeah. And it, yeah. and it was brilliant to see. Yeah, it was. Look, um, going forward, they need to stop the rot, didn't they? Because yeah. Wolves were looking at, um, what would be that, eight, 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 eight losses in 11. Yeah. It is only a point, but it's a big point in, the way, in, in terms of this season. You know, I'm not saying it. Look, I'm not going to say. It. I'm not going to say it because European, European football's gone. But, but <laughs> one might Norwich, two points one off. One might Norwich turning over uh, West Ham tomorrow would be quite nice. Uh, look, they've got Norwich at home next week as well, haven't they? So now they've got this point. They've got something to look forward to. They've got positivity now, and they can really take that forward. Well, they've got Man City as well, of course. <laughs> well, yeah. But forget about them. But they can take that into these two games, yeah. and you never know, do you? Look, if they've got a point here, Man City obviously reading from that, they want to win the Premier League, but there's no reason why they can't give it now. It's set up now to go to one, you really give it a good go. No fear, don't have yeah. any fear, no. go and take it to them. I said before this game that, oh, I agree with you, I think European chance to probably over. But for me, the big thing that Wolves need to do is to have a respectable end to the finish. Yeah. And they've begun that in a very, uh, uh, sorry, respectable end to the season. And to and the they've finish. Done, and they, <laughs> I'm just buzzing. <laughs> um, it, it, it's funny, actually, before I, before I say this point, mm. I don't think I've ever celebrated like that in a press box. I, I, I'm normally very sort of reserved and objective. Like, there was a few, you know, punches to the air, screaming, <laughs> down, down Spears' ear. Oh, I love like, it. Wow. Um, yeah, I, uh, look, they need a respectable end to the season. And it's a great start here today. Now, it's very difficult against your likes of City and your likes of uh, Liverpool. Norwich, I don't, care. I don't care, you Kino, do I don't care anymore. I don't care about difficult because <laughs> they're such a good side or whatever. Just go, get, get into get into them, enjoy it. Nothing to lose. Don't go and scared. Go and play it. it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's a free hit. So don't fanny it. Don't go. <laughs> don't go sit back and, and, and let them play the football. Go 2-0, yeah. 3-0 up. You know what I mean? Go at them at the start. They need to get the crowd back into it now. Now, the crowd were in that today. They're in the crowd themselves today, so now they need to get I Molyneux. In the crowd, mate. Yeah, so now they need to get the Molyneux crowd get yeah. it because yeah. Molyneux on a night game yeah. behind him, you get and it just might. Take, I'm not saying they need to score. Get a couple of tackles in early, get through them, and a, a, a night like Molyneux with the crowd going, they can do anything this side, and it just needed this. I'm, I'm so happy it's taken place. It, it came at the perfect time. They've thrown away a lot of opportunities, and that, that's obvious, and yeah. that criticism's fair. But this came at the perfect time. The way it happened was perfect. All big, not three points, but the way it happened to come back, and it sets them up. Hopefully, as I say, a respectable end of the season. Whether yeah. they make Europe or not, whether they go on and beat Man City and Liverpool in the next few games, they have to just. Yeah, have some self respect, give the fans value for money, and it's a good start. Yeah, it really is. Um, I think it's the happiest I've been celebrating a draw ever. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea 2 Wolves 2 World Post Match Reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.